Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we will be reviewing the two Briarfest 2016 store specials, Diablo DC and Diadiga. I am very excited about both these models, I am so happy to have them, I already really like both of them, and I can't wait to take them out of the box. We'll go ahead and first start with Diadiga, and he has actually a pretty interesting box, so we'll go ahead and get a closer look at his box here. So you can see on the corner it has the Briar logo, and it says Albine the Enchanted Stallion. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. This is apparently a new movie, Albine the Enchanted Stallion. There's more information about it on the back as well. And then on the side of the box here you can see there's a really pretty horse here, a really pretty Frisian on the side, which I'm assuming is Diadiga or one of the Frisians that play in the movie or whatever. Super duper pretty and I love the graphics also on the side here with these like vines and trees. Just really pretty designs and color right there. And then now onto the back of the box. You can see it says Albine the Enchanted Stallion. Uh, Dagdia. Dagdia, is that how you say it? I'm so sorry if I've, I've been pronouncing this wrong the whole time. But anyway, yes, Dagdia there. And then it has a block of text talking about it. Dagdia is a powerful black Frisian horse and the star of Albine the Enchanted Stallion. It talks more about the movie here, about what it's about and who's in it. So it sounds like a movie that I definitely want to be checking out when it comes out. Then here it also talks about the real life horses. Dagdia is brought to life by majestic trick stallions, notorious in hands of majestic Frisians. Be sure to catch notorious in hands as Dagdia in the new movie. And then it also has more about it, the links you can go to, and the website, and all that fun stuff. And then I also love all the pictures on the back here. They are super cool. As you can see here, it says Evie and Uri. I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. Approach this place, and they're on that bridge. It looks super cool with the fog and the trees. And I love this picture. This picture looks so cool with him rearing up and this awesome looking girl on him. Super duper cool. I love this picture on here. And then here's another picture of him and another girl and they look so cool right there and so pretty. And then another picture of them at a castle. And then here it says hands enjoying playtime after filming. Oh he's so cute. Look how beautiful that picture is. That is so cool. And so there you have it. That is the box review for Dagdia. And as you can see here on the side again, is this beautiful picture of Dagdia on there. Very, very cool. So this was definitely a neat box that they did. They definitely designed it differently a little bit compared to the previous boxes. Alright, so now it's time to actually open this guy up out of the box. And now here he is, out of the box. He is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this model. I know he's not everyone's favorite because of the mold but I think he is really, really cool. He is so cool and I absolutely love the fact that they use this different mane and tail on this mold. We're used to seeing the other mane and tail that the regular round Gypsy Vanner comes in and I really like this new mane and tail that we've seen on a couple models before but we have not seen it actually on him on this mold. So I just absolutely love him already. I think he is really pretty and we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at him and talk more about him. I don't know if you can see, but he is not actually completely flat black. He does have some shading on him. I actually picked one out that had a little bit of brown shading on his hip. He doesn't seem to have it really anywhere else, but he does have a little brown shading on there, as you can hopefully see there. He is mostly black otherwise, but it is good to know that they did technically shade this model. They painted it brown before they painted it black, so it's not completely a flat black. It would have been nice to see a little bit more shading going on because most of them do not have this shading that mine has on the hip there. But I still think he is a really pretty model even though his coloring is pretty simple. Let's get a closer look at him. Here we can see his face now. This is the one part I really wish they would have done something different with and that is his eye. They really just did a plain black and white eye and as we're going to see later on Diablo DC Diablo DC's eye is much more detailed than Dag Diga's eye here. Now for my favorite part on this model though is the mane, how it goes on his face here. Look at that. I love how this forelock goes over his face. It just looks so, so cool. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love it. It gives him like this little attitude that I just really, really love. I absolutely love that. It's so cool. Now we can see the rest of his mane there a bit as well, which is really cool looking. 
But I just can't get over this forelock. I think it looks super cool when you look at it from the other side of him. And then down onto his neck, and I love how you can really see the details on this mold here. You can see those little ripples on his neck and muscling. It looks really nice. And I also love the feathering on his feet. I love how big and fluffy his feet are. I know that's something new for this mold, but I do just love the feathering on this model. It's just so, so cool. As you can see, there's a little bit more shading. You can kind of see the shading on his belly even a little bit. He does got some brown shading on him. You just can't really see it for the most part. But then there's another look at the shading on his hip there. And now onto his tail, which I think is really cool. I love this swishy tail on this mold. I think it looks super awesome. And then on the bottom of him, we have the Briarfest 2016 stamp in silver. We'll go ahead and get another look again at his tail here. I just think it's really pretty and I love all the little like strands of hair going on here. It just looks so cool. I know this tail's been used before on the, I'm not even going to pronounce the mold name, but I'll throw a picture up there real quickly. I know it's been used before on the alteration of this mold where he doesn't have the big fluffy Gypsy Vanner feet. But I do think this tail looks very cool on this version of the mold. And then we can see him more on the other side. Again, not much in the way of shading you can see really too well. But now here is his mane. Again, we've seen this mane before on the other version of this mold. But it does look really cool on this version of the mold. I absolutely love this mane. It's very, very cool. I do wish they would have maybe painted it a little bit, gave it a little color right there on those like little ribbons or designs or whatever it is that's the braiding going on there. It'd be nice to have a little pop of color on there. But it is still really pretty, or even if they would have just taken out these little braids altogether, it would be interesting as well if it was just a long flowy black mane and tail, but still very cool. I just absolutely love this model all around. I know this isn't like the greatest mold to show or anything, but I absolutely love this model. I think he is super gorgeous, and I can't wait to do stuff with him with filming and pictures. I think he is just really, really cool. My only critiques for this model is that they would have done more detail on his eye, made it actually have like a brown iris and stuff, give it more detail. And that they would have done a little bit more shading on him, although I'm not as concerned about that. And then a little pop of color on his braids would have also been nice. Next up here we have Diablo DC, and we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at his box, although there's not a whole lot to look at in his box compared to Dag Dia's box. His is a bit more of the traditional briar look here, but it does have a few little briar fest elements that I want to show you. On the corner of the box here, you can see it says Diablo DC, and then it has a picture of the real life horse there. Really cool. And then down on the bottom corner of the box, it has the Briar logo. It's kind of interesting. It says Briar Fest 2016 Store Special. It doesn't actually say Diablo DC on that part of the box for some reason, but it says Briar Fest Store Special instead. Kind of interesting. I don't know if they've done that before with other Briar Fest Store Specials. But then now here we have his name Diablo DC here and it has some festive carnival kind of little clip arts and designs here that look really cool. Then there's also a picture of him being ridden here as well on the box. You can see the really pretty orange and green gradient in the background. Again gives it kind of that carnival Briarfest 2016 theme feel. On the side of the box it has a picture of Diablo DC on the side which is so so cute. I really like that they did that. I think it kind of just really emphasizes the fact that this is based off of a real horse. And I love the halter that the horse is wearing in this picture too. It looks so pretty. That black with those kind of little diamonds going on. Kind of a little studded diamond look. Just looks super duper cool. Then on the back of the box it has kind of the traditional briar look for the most part. With this whole part talking about briars that you can see on a lot of briar boxes. But they did do a little bit different with the top. As you can see, there's some more of this kind of carnival festive look at the top of the box here. And there's like a little section here that talks more about Diablo DC. So really cool if you want to learn more about the real horse that this model is based after. And now we'll go ahead and actually open this guy up. So here is Diablo DC out of his box. And he is a really pretty guy. We have seen quite a few models now on this mold. And I do really like this mold. I think it's very cool. And his coloring is quite pretty and you can't really see it but he does have a little bit of color in there that's just very very lightly shaded on him on his like shoulders and his hip. But let's go ahead and get a closer look at him. He has some really beautifully painted detailed eyes and these are the eyes I wish they would have also put on Dagdia. 
But look how pretty those eyes are. They're gorgeous with the black pupil, a brown iris, and then a little bit of pink in the corner of his eye. Very, very pretty, and it's a really nicely glossed as well. Again, these are the kind of eyes I wish they would have done on Dagdia too, but I'm glad they at least did them on this guy. They look really nice on him, really gives him some detail and life to him. He also has some really beautiful shading on his face. I love this gray shading going on around his cheek and stuff. Very, very pretty. And we can see his mane here is also pretty nicely painted. I've seen some that were really oversprayed. I tried to get one that did not have too much overspray on the mane. Although unfortunately I did see that some of them had quite a lot of overspray on the mane. But this one does look pretty nice. Really nice darker gray. I know if I'd really consider it black because it's not like a super duper black. It's more like a dark gray on him. Then moving down to his shoulder you can see that he has some dapples going on. Some of the models had really prominent damp dapples and then some had much subtler dapples. I got one with more subtle dapples because I didn't want them to be too, too fish scaly looking and too loud looking. So I got one with more subtle dapples and I really like them. Another thing, like I said, I don't know if you can really see it too well on camera, but he does have like a kind of brownish shading just very, very lightly on his shoulders right there that you can kind of see. Kind of gives the model a bit more color and I really like that they did that doesn't make him look completely like gray and white and then we can see some shading on his chest here just a little bit of shading going on to emphasize those muscles which looks really nice then down to his legs these are the only part that I don't really quite like about him and I'm going to talk more about that in a minute you can see the brand here on his hip and they did a pretty nice job on it it's pretty crisp and nice now to his tail, I like how they did a gradient on his tail with kind of the darker gray fades into a white, which I think looks very pretty. He's got some more nice shading going on at the top of his leg, but what I don't like about is the bottom of his legs. I'm going to talk more about it here. What I don't like is how his hooves seem like the same exact color as his fetlocks and knees and hocks. They're like kind of the same gray color. And so his hooves don't really stand out. They feel like they fade into the rest of his legs, which looks kind of weird to me. It might just be me and it's a little bit nitpicky. I feel like they should have given his hooves a bit different, like a little bit darker shade of gray or have defined them a little better or something because they look kind of weird how they just kind of fade in with the rest of his legs. You can also see that there is a little bit of like done striping on his legs, which I'm kind of not sure why they did that there. I don't know if the real horse has that or not. But it's not too bad because it doesn't really stand out. It kind of just blends in again with the rest of the legs. So that is really the one thing about this model that I don't like is just the fact that the hooves are seemed kind of poorly done to me. I would have liked to see them a darker shade of gray or just more defined with like a straight line instead of it just being so softly shaded like the rest of the legs. Now on the other side of him, we can see he's got some really nice shading going on his neck to really define those muscles there. It looks really cool. He's got a little bit of dapples there as well. Then onto his shoulder, we got more dapples going on. But again, mine are a little bit more subtle, which I really like. I like that they're not too out there. You can also see more shading on his muscles. He's got lots of really nice subtle shading on him. And then down onto his hip, again, some more shading and more dapples going on. Unfortunately with my model, he does have a sad factory flaw, which I'm not sure is going to pick out super well on the camera, but he does have hairs in his finish on his hip here. So I don't know if you can see it too well on the video, but he does have hairs in his finish that I'm not sure are going to be able to be removed or not. They are really stuck in there it seems. So that is the only thing I'm really disappointed about is the fact that he came with this kind of quality. But I am really lucky though, all my other models were like flawless and absolutely gorgeous. This is the only model that this year at Briarfest that I got that has this kind of problem of having these hairs in his finish and not being quite like show quality or something like that, but I still really like him. So then that is all with Diablo DC. My only critique is that when they would have done something different with the hooves and that my own model came with a factory flaw of having hairs in his finish. But otherwise, I do really like this model and I like the variations of it too. Like I said, there were ones that had like a lot of dapples. There were ones with darker shading. There were ones with lighter shading. There was a lot of variations I saw while picking out the one that I got here. So then that concludes this review on Diablo DC and Dagadia. They are both really pretty models. I am so happy to have gotten them. I've never actually gotten Briarfest store specials from the Briar store at Briarfest until this year. So I'm super excited to have gotten both of them. 
and they are both models that I really really like. I don't plan on showing them but I do plan on just having a lot of fun with them and possibly filming with them and all kinds of stuff like that. They are just super duper pretty. I am really in love with both of them. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.